Attorney General pushed to the wall, says there is no question, no confusion on Abakari's extradition and the cocaine trafficking trial. We are on course. Hello, my wonderful people. The news broke last week and we brought you up to speed that the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, dared to say that he has, um, you know, looked at the case of of um Abba, of Abba Kiari and he found nothing implicating and there no clear court evidence against him i mean that sparked up no small reactions all across the country and even in diaspora people were like what's going on what do you mean there are no, there are no, there is no tangible evidence against the man which exonerates him to say that you know because when you when requests for extradition comes you have the right to also ca carry out your own investigation and if you find out that it is there is no need for it you don't have to send such an individual you can you both of you the two countries can snog it out to say i don't see a reason why you have requested for his extradition because we have carried out a thorough investigation and found nothing implicating but guess what when everybody came on him to say this is not right this is not acceptable what did he do he said it to me he quickly made a u-turn say no i did not say that please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details no confusion on abba Kari's extradition cocaine trafficking malami reveals after being pressed mr bubaka malami comments appeared to set the judiciary up for blame considering that the court may have to dismiss the extradition proceedings once the pending of N NDLEA cocaine case is cited, which Abakari has been indicted for. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, has said there is no confusion or conflict over the extradition proceedings and cocaine trafficking charges filed against Abuba Ab Abakari. A suspended deputy commissioner of police. Mr. Malami said this while addressing State House correspondent after the Federal Executive Council FEC meeting at the presidential villa yesterday in Abuja. There have been concerns that the move to extradite Mr. Kerry to the US may be may have been hindered and is being hindered by the Attorney General really trying to shadow and disregard the case even the cocaine related charges filed against him by the federal high court in abuja by the national drug law enforcement agency the concerns anchor on three sections of the extradition act which prohibits the extradition of a fugitive standing trial in different for different crime in nigeria do you understand what's going on so some people are saying what is happening to Abakari is a setup. Now, for you to extradite Abakari, he must not be having any criminal charges against him in Nigeria. But listen, they saw him with cocaine and they saw him giving testimony. You know, they saw evidences of him trying to bribe. Can you see what's going on? Let's take it again. The concerns are anchored on th section 3, subsection 6 of the Extradition Act. Now, it says... The, that prohibits extradition of a fugitive standing trial on different crime or charges in his home country. The part of the extradition act reads, a fugitive criminal who has been charged with an offense under the law of Nigeria or any part thereafter not being the offense which for which is surrendering or any sort cannot be extradited who is serving a sentence imposed in respect of any such offense by a court in nigeria such should not be surrendered until a time he has been discharged and acquainted of the sentence or otherwise mr malami without addressing the specific implication of the statutory provision of the move to extradition mr carey described the concerns about the likely impact of the cocaine trafficking charges on the extradition move as a misleading and misconception that he will surely be extradited there is no confusion but the great misconception or perhaps either mischief or otherwise and part of some certainty is the fact that abakari has other cases in nigeria as well so 
if you understand it very well, there is a law in Nigeria that prohibits a person who is standing trial or being implicated in any criminal act to be extradited. And the person has a case in Nigeria. Like in the case of Abakiari, he was not just found with coke. He was also trying to bribe uh, an officer. So that is tenable on what grounds he may not be extradited. But again, if you want to look at it in the order of priority, the U.S. requested for its extradition last year. And if not because the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, is playing hanky-packy game and does not want to send him away, using all, using all forms of trick, okay, and ways to keep the man in this country because of what he has promised them to reveal and to expose everyone and anyone who he knows or he has something on, you can, you can be sure that, you know, the Attorney General and the rest of them are very, they know exactly what they are doing. So, Again, some people, some quarters are saying the whole cocaine thing is, uh, is just a mirage. It's just another decoy. It's something that they've done. They know exactly what they are doing. It's to ensure that the guy is not moved. The guy is not sent to the U.S. Okay, that's, that's if you want to interpret the law, what the law has said in relation to what is going on, the guy may not be extradited. And this is what, you know, Attorney General was trying to say the other day when he said he has not found any tenable case. And Nigerians were like, what? What? I beg your pardon. If this case has been some other persons and not Abakiari, that person would have been in the U.S. now. We'll be getting high five from the U.S. over the sea. We'll be getting high fives from there, from such an individual. If it's another Nigerian that has been caught, okay, carrying out this atrocity, that person, I can assure you, 300% will not be in this country as at now, as at today. But Abakiari, there is something going on that we need to really understand why Nigerian government cannot call a spade a spade. What is it he has on them? Why they cannot, you know, truly expose what is going on? Only them and God knows, because he has promised every one of them that if he steps out of this country, all hell will be let loose. So you see, the Attorney General has to start explaining. But if it's some other candidate, there will be no explanation. Welcome to Nigeria. This is what goes on. This is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.